Man, it's me again, Travis Cherry, Behind the Beats, Life of a Producer. Oh, man, just giving y'all some of the uh, records I've worked on. Just letting you share some of the fun I've had on working on some of these records, man. Um, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about another record I worked on on Jay Holiday's second album. Uh, it's called Make That Sound. Sexy, sexy ass fucking record. It's just hands down sexy as shit. Um, that record came together actually <clears throat> because through um, a beat that I had that I was working on at the same time that we were working on the first album. Um, if you listen to Come Here and then you listen to uh, Make That Sound, you'll hear um, pretty much the same techniques that I used, um, you know, I think uh, just me just playing kind of with the synths um, and giving you more or less just a synth to the ride to. Um, on the original beat that I did, um, it came together like this uh, with just the synth rocking and my man Carl played um, some other synths behind it and it came together like this. This is what the original beat sounded like. that are there on the finished version. Um, after D. Brown, the writer who wrote uh, the record, after he wrote it, uh, what ended up happening was, the record was bananas, um, as is, um, <clears throat> Mike from the Platinum Brothers, he went through and kind of dissected what we had there. And uh, he, he changed the... Uh, you change some of the elements of it, especially if you hear you really do hear the pronounced change on like the verses, um, where it, instead of just letting the synth ride, he more went for the less is more approach. Um, so what uh, ended up happening with it is after it came together and everything, of course, um, you know, being in the studio, always working on the second album, you know, Jay Holiday uh, heard it and. Uh, you know, ended up cutting it, and it just came out to a sexy, sexy record, and very, very, just crazy experience of working on that record. But um, you know, like I said, it's just it was really a simple, simple record, simple process. Um, started you know starting with me and Carl, Antoine, and then uh, having the Platinum Brothers add a little bit more to it, and I think it was more about the vocal performance and the swag on that record more than just um the music. So. You know, if you ever, if you wanted to know that, now you know. So it's me again. It's late night in the studio. Just give me all the behind the beats kind of thing. Um, definitely look out for some more videos from me. I'll definitely be telling you um, about some more records that uh, I have out. So just keep checking back on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want to find me, I'm on Facebook under Travis Cherry. I'm on uh, Twitter. MySpace, everything. You can Google me. You can hit. You can see uh, some of the other uh, records I have out on Wikipedia. So, this is just me, my life, unscripted. As you see, I'm in the studio by myself, enjoying myself. No hype man, no crew. Just me and pianos and all the sense that are in my laptop. And uh, that's how we do. Any of you young producers out there that uh, want to know some more 
just hit me up. I definitely will give you some more of um, some of my, just my little techniques um, that I use while I'm in the studio creating. And uh, that's really it. So just check it out. Look for another episode. Me, Behind the Beats, Life of a Producer, Travis Cherry. And I'm gone.